As far as most of the world is concerned, there's only one Vancouver, in Canada. But that's not the Vancouver we're talking about. There's another Vancouver just 300 miles to the south, making up the second half of a metropolitan area with Portland, Oregon, is the oft-overlooked city of Vancouver, Washington. With a population of around 175,000, it's by no means a small city. Yet for over a century, it's been almost entirely overshadowed by its Canadian brother. According to American Vancouverites, that's all about to change, as the American city has officially launched a rebranding campaign. It will refer to itself as the original Vancouver. And this is accurate, since it's historically older. Stick with us as we take a look at Vancouver, Washington, and all the great things it has to offer. Enjoy a Hollywood classic at Kiggins Theatre. When it first opened to the public in 1937, the Kiggins Theatre was one of the most luxurious movie theatres in the Pacific Northwest. The lobby had gleaming silver chandeliers, and the walls were hand-painted by R. B. Roberts, a member of the British Artists' Society, who also painted Windsor Castle. Over the years, Kiggins Theatre has survived sudden closures, near-disastrous fires, and unruly crowds. In 2012, it found its place on the National Register of Historic Places. Today, people stop by to enjoy an array of entertainment, including independent and classic films. There's even a performance space home to community engagements and live performances. Get involved with water activities at Vancouver Lake Regional Park. A near 3,000-acre body of water, Vancouver Lake is located west of the city and is popular for summer outings. The majority of engagements take place at Vancouver Lake Regional Park, which holds facilities like boat ramps, picnic tables, and playground equipment. Whether you enjoy being on or off the water, there are a variety of activities for everyone's taste. Popular activities include windsurfing, rowing sports, and even sand volleyball. On clear days, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Adams can be seen in the distance, creating stunning views. Summit the Peak of Silver Star Mountain Silver Star Mountain is without a doubt one of the most prominent peaks seen from Vancouver. Just an hour drive away from Vancouver, the peak is one of the most popular day trips to take from the city. Silver Star Mountain hosts a variety of trails that can get you to the top of the near 4,500-foot summit. At the base of the mountain is a vast amount of wildflowers which bloom in June and July. Enjoy some history at Fort Vancouver. Fort Vancouver is a tremendous historic site that holds deep ties to the region and its community. Operated by the National Park Service, Fort Vancouver encompasses more than 350 acres, including waterfront on the Columbia River. A little history on Fort Vancouver, it began in 1825 as a Hudson Bay Company fur trading depot. It didn't take long before it developed into a major hub of the northwest frontier. When visiting, we recommend you first check out the reconstructed Fort Vancouver, built upon the archaeological footprint of the original fort, after the fort burned down in 1866. The reconstructed fort includes a meticulously cared-for heritage garden, the rehabilitated Officers Row, and the aviation-oriented Pearson Air Museum. Fort Vancouver also hosts a variety of authentic cultural demonstrations. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Viewcation for more. Now stick with us as we continue our list of the best things to do in Vancouver, Washington. Get out and about at Esther Short Park Esther Short Park and Playground sits at the center of much of the city's appeal. On top of that, it holds the claim of being the oldest public square in the state of Washington. It's become a popular gathering spot for community events and concerts. If there's a spot of good weather, Esther Short Park is a great way to get out and enjoy it. But that's not all. The five-acre park is often covered with the fun sounds of street performers and live music. The weekend is especially prominent with these lively sounds, including the chimes from the on-site Salmon Run Bell Tower. And don't forget, the Vancouver Farmer's Market takes place every Saturday and Sunday between March and October. Still want more? Come by in the summer to enjoy the water feature. Take a stroll downtown. Of all the things to do in Vancouver, checking out downtown should be one of the first on your list. Laid out in a grid with Main Street at the center, downtown is dotted with landmarks, artworks, and historic structures. Discovering downtown on foot is a particularly great way to experience and enjoy what the city has to offer. 
visit a piece of aviation history at Pearson Field and Pearson Air Museum. If you're interested in aviation history, Pearson Field and the adjoining Air Museum are a must-visit. Located within the confines of Fort Vancouver National Historic Site, Pearson Field and Air Museum is home to a truly incredible piece of aviation history. The takeoff and landing for the first flight around the world occurred at Pearson Field, and the runway was the destination for Russian pilots who were the first to fly over the North Pole. Stroll the sidewalks of Officers Row Officers Row is one of four unique sites to explore at Fort Vancouver National Historic Site. This site comprises 21 homes that were once residents to a variety of soldiers, officers, and families of the fort. After going through a massive restoration process over the last 30 years, these historic dwellings have been revamped to their former glory and now encompass a mixed-use residential and business neighborhood. A leisurely stroll down the sidewalk of this aesthetic neighborhood is a unique and enjoyable experience. Specific homes like the Ulysses S. Grant House and the George C. Marshall House have both been decorated in period antiques and are open to the public. If you're feeling hungry, visit the eatery at the Grant House, which features steak and pasta entrees and a variety of charcuterie options. Explore Uptown Village Spending time in Uptown Village is another chance to get the feel of what Vancouver is all about. Take a stroll north on Main Street to discover delectable restaurants, marvelous antique shops, and fascinating dispensaries. Take a detour west off Main Street into the Hoff District, one of the oldest residential neighborhoods in the city. This is particularly interesting to any history buffs, as many of the Victorian and bungalow-style houses date to the early 1900s. Much of the area is listed on the Washington Historic Register. Grab a treat or two at Vancouver Farmer's Market. Every Saturday and Sunday between March and October in Esther Short Park, you can enjoy the downtown Farmer's Market. Help yourself to fresh produce, enjoy some home-baked confections, and search through a variety of handmade goods for a unique item to take home. Don't forget to grab yourself a snack to eat as you enjoy all that the park has to offer. Take in the stunning waterfront views of the Renaissance Trail. This five-mile-long pedestrian path at the edge of the city links Esther Short Park with Wintler Community Park via the Columbia River. With an absolutely incredible view, the Renaissance Trail connects many of Vancouver's community spaces. People enjoy the trail in all different fashions, including biking, jogging, rollerblading, and even pushing a stroller. Don't be discouraged if you prefer to take things a little slower. The scenic surroundings encourage a more leisurely pace. Experience the fascinating exhibits of Clark County Historical Museum. Another opportunity to take in some of the history of Vancouver, the Clark County Historical Museum provides fascinating insight on the long history of the area. This is a particularly great experience to take advantage of during those rainy days. The exhibits on offer at the museum touch upon all time periods of Clark County history, ranging from native inhabitants to current cultural influences on the world. Creating a more engaging and entertaining experience, the museum offers a variety of multimedia displays and presentations. When the summer sun is out, the Clark County Historical Museum sponsors guided walking tours throughout the city on Fridays and Saturdays. Now it's time to hear from you. Was there anything we missed on our list of the best things to do in Vancouver, Washington? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.